Hello. Oh, I wasn't sure whether the computer had gone live then. I don't know if I was doing weird smiling things at myself. Um, oh, good morning. I, yeah, what an amazing night last night. We went to Dundee for the Goddess Formula Roadshow and it was, it was so great. And I just, yeah, unexpectedly awesome. We thought it was going to be a really small group of ladies. And I think we had about 15 people, but everyone was really engaged and everybody yeah every single person brought something really powerful to the room and it was really exciting um we had a brilliant talk from a lady called trisha fox from volpa pr um and she was talking about her business experience over the last 20, 20 or so years 15 years um and where she is now and she's on this big scale up scheme with Goldman Sachs and yeah it was really interesting really really interesting um yeah so uh one of the ladies there was a lady called Tanya the jam witch and she makes amazing jam which all sorts of exciting places in Scotland like to buy for example the house of brewer um but she is a she is um she is into uh, astrology, which isn't my bag. But interestingly, whilst I've been staying here with my co-founder Georgino in Perth, the moon has been absolutely amazing. And um, and we've commented on it a few times. And I, you know, astrology is not my bag, so I I didn't even know what it is. I just had to Google what the age of Aquarius is. But apparently, it's an age of where the moon's moving around the sun and. It's a specific thing that comes every few thousand years. Anyway, Tanya said, this is a quote from Tanya, and I thought it was really interesting. I'm going to tie it in with something else in a sec. We are in the age of Aquarius and female empowerment is rising. Apparently that's a consequence of the age of Aquarius. And then she said this very kind thing about the goddess formula. And she said, you are the Kundalini rising of female entrepreneurs. Thanks, Tanya. Um, So what I what I try to think about that is that this is a this is about something that's a lot bigger than than me and George. This is about something. Oh, sorry, George and I. No, me, George and me. I'm always correcting my children on that. This is about something that is a lot bigger and a lot more. Um, you know, that has a lot more resonance in the world than just the immediate consequences of what Georgina and I are doing in our lives. Um, and I just was looking around Georgina's sitting room. As you can see, she has a bookshelf over there full of exciting books. And I hit upon um, a book called The Words of Martin Luther King. And this, and then I opened it, and the first chapter is The Community of Man. Or woman, put a W-O in front of that. And I thought it tied in quite nicely with what Tanya had said about the age of Aquarius and female empowerment rising and um, us being the kundalini of female entrepreneurs because the first quotes that I read from Martin Luther King were these and it was an individual has not started living until he can rise above the narrow confines of his individualistic concerns to the broader concerns of all humanity and the next quote is every man must decide whether he will walk in the light of creative altruism or the darkness of destructive selfishness. This is the judgment. Life's most persistent and urgent question is, what are you doing for others? I could go on. I think we all know that Martin Luther King's quotations are absolutely phenomenal, and I will actually refer back to those at another time. But I think the message that I'm taking from that is, and what we're trying to do with the Goddess Formula is remember that, you know, the, the world that the world will keep turning without us the you know are the, the the important things in my life in georgina's life and in, in in all of our lives today you know are just little things in the grand scheme of the universe and the fact that it's going to be here for a long time after we've gone um and i think what we're trying to do with the goddess formula is create something that is much bigger than ourselves that is more that that takes on its own that takes on its own life, that becomes more of a movement. And, and that is about serving others. And that's about supporting each other 
to be the best that we can be. Um, you know, and if that means riding the wave of Kundalini and, you know, helping to help other female entrepreneurs be empowered, then that's fantastic. I don't actually know what that means, but I think it's positive. Um, but all I do, I do know what Martin Luther King means, and that is life's most persistent and urgent question is what are you doing for others? And in my experience, which is only my experience, but I've seen it in other people's lives too, when you put what you're doing for others at the center of what you're doing, everything else just seems to work more smoothly. Anyway, that's my humble experience of the day. Golly gosh, I've run on. Um, my humble um, opinion for the day, rather. Um, yeah, I hope everyone has a super day. I'm off to on, to see one of my clients. Um, she's a lovely, lovely school um, here near Perth. And then I'm heading back to York this evening to see my babies who I've missed this week. But it's been a fabulous week and we are excited to do it all again next week in Glasgow and Edinburgh. Cool. Have a wonderful day, folks. Um, and a super weekend. And I'll see you on Monday. <laughs>